Hello friends. Sorry to to disturb you. I'm going to I'm going to do at your door. Tok 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 tok. You know. Uh, on the 27th of August. It is very important the day the day of one of our teacher, great teacher, Yushu Karamuchi. He part, He was born in 1932 and passed away on the 27th of August in 1999. He was born in 1932 in East of Tibet and then recognized and was as well as trained by many, many great teachers. He, he has been very fortunate that uh, he is uh, grandmother who took care of him in when his childhood his mother and his grandmother took care of him and who were disciple of Nyushul Lung Tok the great absorption master the, we have a saying that if there was not this great master Lung Tok Nyushul Lung Tok there won't be Padu Rinpoche, Padu Rinpoche, the one who wrote many important things, especially which is quite well known, these teachings, which is we called Word My Perfect Teacher. Thanks to Nyushu Long Tok, Padu Rinpoche's teachings are kept and preserved, and so very important, and so. Uh, his mother and grandmother was very close to Nushu Lung Tok. And then he was uh, brought up by different teachers and also he was recognized as one of the incarnation of Gato Sidhu Rinpoche, well-known teacher. And uh, he studied in different monasteries in uh, Sakya and then also in Nyingma like Kato monasteries and all that but at the same time he did, did many studies and along with practice he was uh, in this very special place of uh, Nyushu and Jombalong by studying and he studied all the great teachings, especially Dzogchen teachings, from Lungtul Tembenyema. As I mentioned, like uh, his mother and grandmother's root teacher was in Yushu, uh, Yushu Lungtok. So his reincarnation called Lungtul Tembenyema. So Yushu Kenamuchi studied with him, received all the important teachings on Dzogchen. He was a really great, great teacher and he had incredible ability to capture or to remember, remember, so his memory is so incredible that he would be able to tell stories. That's why he very kindly wrote and the uh, lives, the wrote the uh, lives of absorption masters, which we called absorption, the absorption, the kind of history and lives of the absorption masters. And it's incredible. He is incredible storyteller. He can spend, you can you can spend with him days, not days, but he will never finish his stories about different lineage, different masters and different places. He was incredibly 
but especially the way he explains the the, the stories, something's really inspiring and very life. That's not something only what I want to say, but he was most kind person than I ever like a no so kind so kind and he would treat everyone equal he was very loving and also he is really diligent to help others and to preserve the teachings and the first and he was born as i mentioned before and the twenty uh, he was born in 1932 and then and then of course, he escaped, escaped to India in 1959 and 1960s, and then he attended the, the one of the most important uh, the teaching of Chapter Dunjurambache in Kalimpong, in India. There was a series of teachings and transmissions from Chapter Dunjurambache on Rinchen Denzu. Also Nyingma Kama. I met Yushikan Rinpoche for the Nyingma Kama transmissions and have been very fortunate and I have been really close to Yushikan Rinpoche since 1961 and then very often we meet each other uh, in different places where there are gatherings of precious transmissions and teachings and in 19 uh, like late 70s then he was uh, uh, not very well so I had the fortune to uh, take care of the Rinpoche's health in Darjeeling at our humble monastery called at Uyengkonsun Chuling and he spent quite a few years there and then thereafter he traveled to the west for further treatments and then he uh, he he came to the south of France in Dordogne and uh, like a uh, 78 9 and then since then he was so kind that to come and teach and in the retreat that we have been fortunate to to establish and uh, where Yabdi Dungi Rinpoche and Dingu Chins Rinpoche used to present so Kanabuchi spent a lot of time in France and then of course later he traveled around and taught in many different countries but he was so great great teaching and uh, te uh, teacher especially Dzogchen lineage that he received from this great master who was known as Longdru uh, Dambanyama uh, and Nongju Tembenyama in turn received from Nushu, the um, Kampong Nganchung. Kampong Nganchung's teacher was Nongdok Tembenyama, Nongdok, Nushu Nongdok, and, and his main teacher was Badrambache. So, Nushu Kanrambache taught and he became later teachers of most of the teachers like young teachers for example uh, before he passed away he uh, he really transmitted and taught and guided many many teachers of a time like Zhong Zakin Rinpoche and uh, like uh, um, and many of our 
teachers were students of music and Rinpoche. And then he guided and taught in three years retreat in south of France in Dordogne and we had several retreat centers and uh, he guided them and he taught with them and uh, then later he went back to Bhutan and then his health health deteriorate and uh, during the time when he was writing the uh, the, the lives of the Dzogchen masters and then after he completing that and then he got sick and then he went to uh, uh, to Thailand to further treatment and then later um, we found that uh, maybe best uh, checkup and treatment would be in France so he got treat uh, exa toro exam and treatment in Bordeaux but unfortunately his health was not very good he had cancer and tumor in the, in his in the brain and then he had operation and but unfortunately on the 27th of August he passed away 27th of August 1989 he passed away then his body or relics were kept in France over a year then it's uh, transported uh, to Bhutan through Thailand and uh, then uh, preserved in a stupa that is specially built the temple and stupa built specially for him in the sacred place of great master Longchenpa in Tharpaling so if ever anyone had the fortune to uh, to go to Bhutan must visit this in Tapaling where Yushu Kanamuchi's body is preserved and in a stupa and uh, which also enshrines according to his wish that we build like 108 Bajrasattva statues so his body is preserved there but uh, we all cherish his kindness and teachings that we received and uh, and uh, we miss you Shikhanabache very much but only thing what he used to teach was that everything is impermanence and uh, we have to remember from the brave moment of birth and that death is in inevitable and we have to really be prepared all the time and on the basis of love compassion joy and impartiality the the bodhicitta special loving kindness was his, one of his main main teachings for me, Yushikan Rinpoche is symbol of uh, diligence, symbol of respect to the teachers and teachings, especially has such incredible love to everybody. So, to repay the kindness of Yushikan Rinpoche, we try to cultivate best what we can service for others he spent a great deal of time in the different like uh, settlements to take care of uh, the people and uh, so i would would say those of you who remember mutual cannabis please think of him and think all living beings all sentient beings and uh, that find a way to repay the kindness for others and that he used to say we can only repay the kindness for others through love through kindness 
and he used to treat humans animals equal and he would really share anything whatever he possess that he considers is a belongings of everyone therefore he shares anything teachings is like he is the store of the teachings so he would give the teachings and also share anything what he might possess with everyone with great love and great joy anything he can do or uh, share with others he would be almost like ecstasy so this is a really great teaching for me and uh, I know many of you know this so please always try to find a way to benefit others whatever way in a very minute level and uh, on great scale whatever we can do please try to do help others with great joy and uh, as Buddha mentions there's not a single being who has not been our mother so repay our kindness for mother it's very important and if we could really love others and we would be completely surrounded by by love that's very important and what we need in these days is love for the environment love for animals love to our, our friends human beings so please on this particular day and think of Nushi Kenambuche as well as like a according to western calendar it also like a anniversary of Gyabju Dunyurum which is Sangyum Sangyum and the last time we celebrate according to the, the lunar calendar so today is we are ce celebrating the 27th of August we celebrate Yushi Kenambuche as well as Sangyum Kushos according to to the solar calendar all my best wishes to every one of you as as I really request as often as possible please think about the environment think of others think of animals and really important for us to be really of course we have to take care of our health but please try to be vegetarian and vegan which is so important for ourselves and please take care of yourself these days yeah because of the epidemic many of our friends put their life in danger so please take care of your health and please take care of uh, of very care of this epidemic still everywhere there is incredible risk if we're not careful enough so please take care of yourself please be well and all my love to every one of you thank you so much